Hey guys, it has been a while since I last posted. I mean, I posted two months ago, but that was a video game video and I don't feel like that counts. And I don't feel like the cruise series counts either because I haven't updated you guys on what's going on in my life currently because all of the cruise stuff happened in February. So I'm sorry that it has taken me a while to post. My life has been nothing short of crazy lately. But I figured I would take some time to kind of share with you guys an update what's going on and what my plans are for the future of the channel. So like I said, in February we went on the cruise and I actually still have to finish the series for that. But after that we flew back to America and visited with family. Then my family helped us move across the country. My parents said they would help us drive our cars across the country and so we did that. We stopped at the Grand Canyon so that they could see the Grand Canyon for the first time and it was, of course, absolutely amazing and uh, I have plenty of videos from that to share with you guys. And then we get to California and so we got into California right at the beginning of March. Since then we've just been sort of figuring things out and settling in and all of that and it has been a wild, wild ride. We actually lived in California once before, but only for a few months. We lived in San Diego. And when we told people that we were going to live there, they all said, oh, you're going to love it because it only rains three days out of the year in California. Well, guess what happened? It rained for the entire two first weeks that we lived there. Of course, right? Well, whenever we told people we were moving to California again, they said the exact same thing. And guess what happened? the exact same thing <laughs> anyway whenever we got here we lived out of a hotel for almost a month maybe a little bit less i can't really remember but we went house hunting and we looked at three houses the first house that we looked at was out in the country and it was i thought it was perfect at the time it had a huge yard which was perfect for loxus and I could just see him running around. Our neighbors had cows and horses, chickens and all of that. The only thing is the house is kind of old and it had a lot of like fixer upper issues that I didn't want to have to deal with. A lot of things needed to be replaced and the upkeep and maintenance would have been more than we would want to deal with. But at the time I still had my heart set on this house because of the yard and everything like that and it had tons of room in the house. It was just great. Then we went to look at our second house. We were pretty excited about this one because it had a lot of land too, but we got there and the house was actually a lot smaller than we thought that it was going to be. On top of that, nothing was said about this in the ad, but when we got there, the person showing us the house was like, oh yeah, this house comes with a 13 head of sheep. So on occasion, you're going to have to go out and change the sheep from one section of land to the other so that way that they can eat the grass and all of that. And we were like, what? <laughs> At 13 sheep? I, that's more than I've signed up for. So we didn't even consider that one. We were pretty much like, I'm done. I mean, like it would have been great to have some sheep, but I'm not ready to take on 13 sheep right now. I don't know anything about taking care of sheep. And for a while, I was like, we're gonna go for that first house because it's really hard to find a house that's in a decent area for a decent price that allows dogs. And we were like, there's no way we're gonna find anything better than the first house that we looked at. But then the one that we got popped up and it was perfect. It was new construction, has a really nice fenced in yard. It's not as big of a yard, but it's still better than nothing. We never really had the opportunity to live in a house that had a nice yard like that. So we were really glad that we were able to find this one and get moved in. It took a while for them to get the house ready for us to get moved in, but we were so glad to get moved into a house. And I've been trying to work on decorating, but the house is really big and I don't have enough decorations, so I'm trying not to spend a ton of money on it, but it's really hard not to. I'm sure in the future I'll do a house tour for you guys, so don't worry about that. Anyway, since we got moved in, just kind of been settling in, figuring things out in the area. It's really nice. Um, we, we live in a nice little neighborhood. There's a huge shopping center nearby and there's actually a gym really close. So I have been going to the gym consistently since about March, maybe April. And I have felt so much better about myself because of that. Some of you who have known me for a while may know that before we moved to Japan, I was in the gym almost every single day for about a year. And I felt so good about myself. 
I've been doing a lot of things that I never thought that I could have done. But then when we moved to Japan, it was just a challenge to get back and forth to the gym and everything like that. So I ended up falling off the wagon for the entire time that we were there. So I kind of fought it whenever we moved back to America, but then I got back into it and I have just been feeling so great and so glad that I've been doing that. Other than that, I've just been kind of getting things settled in and unpacked here. We actually only took a little less than half of our belongings with us to Japan and the rest of it was in storage here in the States. So when we moved into this house, they kind of sent everything to us at once. So I had a lot to unpack and most of it I hadn't seen in two years. So it was a lot to go through and a lot to deal with. We've been trying to get around and see what we can, but honestly, I can't believe how fast the year has flown by already. Back in June, my family flew out to California this time instead of driving so that they could actually spend some time here and see stuff with us. So when they were here, we went to the 17 mile drive, Big Sur, we went to Santa Cruz and San Francisco and saw some really cool stuff. And unfortunately, I didn't vlog any of that because I just wanted to take the time to enjoy some time with family. And the same for a couple of weeks later when we went to Myrtle Beach to see Roy's family. And we were there for a week and it was a lot of fun too. It was my first time in Myrtle Beach, so it was really, really nice. We had a lot of fun with them. I've got to tell you guys, I miss Japan so much. Like, I'm sure I will make a video just about me missing Japan at some point here or later, but I miss it so much. And Roy does too. It's, it's just, it was great. I'm so glad that we had the time that we did there and I really wish it could have been longer because it was just amazing. Anyway, I have a sort of unofficial announcement to make. Um, and the official announcement will come later, trust me. But one of the other things that has kind of been taking up my time is after we got back from Myrtle Beach, we flew out to Nashville and drove up to Bowling Green, Kentucky to add a new member to our family. And you may have actually heard her walking around while I've been filming this, but um, we got a new dog. Her name is Mira Jane. Mira, hey baby. Oh. <laughs> and here she is. Oh, she a lover. <laughs> yep, this is Mira Jane. <laughs> All right, this is Mira. She's a Belgian Malinois, and she is a big old bundle of love. Oh goodness, we've been planning this for a long time, and um, let me put her down. We've been planning this out for a little over a year, actually maybe two years, <laughs> that we would get a dog after we came back from Japan. Uh, we were trying to wait you know, for the right timing because she is my sport dog. We're gonna be training in a sport of Schutzend or IPO or IGP, whatever you wanna call it. We wanted to be in a place where we knew that we weren't gonna have to move again for a while so we could you know, get a good foundation in the training. But I won't go too much into detail about that because I have a whole other video coming out about us going to pick Mira up and the actual official announcement of us getting Mira. So I will try not to make that what this video is about. But she's great and I'm really glad we have her. Anyway, that kind of brings me into the second half of what I wanted this video to be about and that is the future of this channel. So, I have really enjoyed the time that I have had on YouTube and at first I was really skeptical about whether I wanted to do it and whether I wanted to continue to do it. And of course I want to continue to do it. It's a lot of fun and a great creative outlet for me because I love making videos, making creative videos and things like that. So it's nice to actually have somewhere to post them and know that people are actually going to watch and enjoy them. So thank you all for that. It really means a lot to me. Now, as for future video plans, I will of course be posting videos of Mira. I'll probably actually do one about Loxus too, because I know that you guys know that I have Loxus and that I love Loxus and that he's a great dog, but I don't think I've ever told you anything in depth about him, so I will actually be sure to do that in the future. Also, I have to continue the rest of the cruise series. The next one coming up is whenever we go to New Zealand and visit Hobbiton, the film set for the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movies. So if you like those movies and are interested in seeing the lovely little magical place of Hobbiton, make sure that you keep an eye out for that video because it will be going up next week. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys. 
Also, I have the rest of the cruise series and the trip across the country with my family to share with you guys as well as an air show we went to here where the Blue Angels performed and it was fantastic. I love air shows, I always have. I love the air show music, I love the trick planes, I love the fast jets, I love it all. It's so great. So I will show that to you guys. Also, circling back around to Mira Jane, I will definitely be posting some of our training videos for you guys to see and stuff like that. And I also have some old videos from Japan and old videos from before I ever even started YouTube that I've been thinking about sharing with you guys. And um, the videos from Japan, I'm not sure why they never got posted. Maybe I just got busy or whatever. But we have some from when we went to Kumamoto, from when we went to Nara Deer Park in Nara Prefecture to see the deer, and from a beautiful wisteria garden in Kita Kyushu, which is a little north of Fukuoka. I can't remember the name of it for the life of me right now, but it is very famous for its wisteria tunnel. Like, I'm talking international, worldwide famous, and it was beautiful when we went. I don't know why I never posted the video. But anyway, I've been thinking about sharing those things with you guys. Anyway, I'm sorry I'm talking real fast. I'm trying to get all of this into the video and make it the least boring for you guys as I possibly can because I don't know if you guys like videos where I sit around and just talk to you like this, I don't know. But if you do, let me know because I would be willing to do them more often. Anyway, I tried to keep this short and sweet. Thank you guys for sticking around and waiting on me to kind of get back into the scene with YouTube here. I really appreciate your support and love and I look forward to making more videos for you guys. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and consider subscribing to keep up with what I've got going on in the future. I've got someone here who wants to say hello. <laughs> and I will see you guys <laughs> in my next video. <laughs> Alright. Bye guys. <laughs>